Oh, hi guys. Good morning. Today is June 6, 2022. It's uh, 9 o'clock in the morning. So the sun is cool. Later on, be intense. So what you're seeing here is my rubber tree. I'm in my uh, door entering to the patio. So if you notice, I put them in this basket. In this uh, native basket. So this is the robusta. This is the tineke. And this is the ruby or tricolor. I want to bring them outside because I want to repot this tineke and this robusta so because this one is okay i i already uh, repotted it i'm gonna repot on the same pot and then my plan is to get one more so i can put it here <laughs> so i want them to be together in this and so i can bring them together outside for the sunshine and then bring them inside all right, join me, please. Okay, guys, here we go. <laughs> Let me push it by my my leg. <laughs> it's so hard. You don't have uh, a cameraman, but it's okay. So let me carry them and look. Look who's coming. Happy. Oh, hello. Hi. Say hi to the viewers. This time I'm cleaning also the patio. Hello. It's getting uh, bigger and bigger. So they are here now. My rubber tree rubber trees because they are tree that's so cute rubber tree because they are tree three rubber trees oh, this one is the lemon lime so beautiful okay let's go again to the other one so cute uh -uh, this is the rob robusta all right we set the table so we can start the repotting of these two. The tineke and then the robust. Hey guys, before we start the repotting, I just wanna once again share to you my my amended soil the way I amend my soil is I'm gonna put also on the screen the soil I'm using here in Southern California I'm putting osmocot which I did already I put already if you will see there and then uh, I just wanna teach you I made another style or way of putting the neem oil so it's really really well distributed all right, let me put down the camera and let's start. Okay, guys, so uh, this is the pot that I'm gonna use. It's the same height as the the one in the rubber tree tricolor. So uh, I, I made already a liner. The other one has a liner. Let's put a liner here. What's the purpose of the liner? So your so when you water the plants, it's not gonna be wash away so now uh, this one is the neem oil I know neem oil is so expensive I checked this is $25 look at the volume so it's, it's a small bottle but it's concentrated uh, this is the way I'm gonna do it so I just poke a little bit there so it's not gonna spill all the way so I realize I need to mix it. I did. This is just my own uh, idea. So I'm gonna drop here and on any container, and then pour a, pour a put a drop of this neem oil and put a 
lay down. Water. Okay, let's do it. Can I show it to you properly? Let's do it this way. See, I pour a little bit. Maybe one more. Okay, so just a drop. And the next step is. So here we go. So I pour a little water. Okay. So there's no such a specific amount of water you want to put, but it's up to you. So let me pour it in the soil. This is the soil. So the soil we're gonna use is uh, moist. That's the technique. So there you go. So let me pour a little bit just in case there's more. There you go. So now, sorry, <laughs> I hit the iPhone. So now I'm gonna mix it all together. Keep, mi keep mixing. So you have a better soil amended. Oh, hello guys. We're gonna start now the repotting for those who are newly tuned in my name is Chona from Crops and Succulents uh, I'm in Southern California gardening zone 10a so join me as I will repot this and thank you so much for always uh, supporting the channel so these are the soil these are the soil this is the soil I mix it with uh, neem oil and osmocot to amend the soil. So let's do this. Let's repot first the tineke. The tineke I got in um, Armstrong. Look at the foliage. A lot loves the foliage, including me. All right. Gonna repot. I'm gonna check the, the roots. Look at the roots. She has tiny roots but healthy. Okay. And then I'm not gonna bother much the soil because it's fresh. Just by looking, you will see it's fresh because there's no bugs. I put some of my my pebbles. So remember, I, every time I repot, I always spray this neem oil. This is different from the one I'm mixing to the soil. This one is uh, you can add more water. If for you it's sticky or you you can all right so that's it to prevent the, the bugs come so where's my soil there you go let me adjust the camera hold on guys Okay, I think it's too much soil that I put, so I'm gonna take out some. So now my soil is moist. The one I'm using is moist. This one is uh, still moist. I know I watered them <laughs> a few days ago, but uh, I didn't realize that I'm gonna repot them today. But it's okay. The, the soil, pop it like this, make sure there's no air pocket, you know air pocket can kill the plants, 
what is their bucket? <laughs> you tell me. I already mentioned it. Their bucket is the one spacing inside the the planter, where in the soil is not equally distributed or not uh, well spread to the. Launcher. Okay. So we top it like this. Okay. That's it. And let's do the other one. Okay, now it's the turn of Robusta. Look how healthy. So let me spray first. My neem oil underneath the leaves. So those buds that are trying to linger cannot invade my plants. So like I said, they can stay inside the house. So the roots are so beautiful. Look at that. Look at that. They're still baby really. Plants like this that you just uh, don't don't expose under the sun. The roots are gonna be bigger. Okay. Put soil on the side. And then after repotting, just clean the plants, clean the pots. If you just leave it like that, uh, your plants doesn't look good, <laughs> right? <laughs> That's why we buy plants to take care of them and then to make them beautiful. Because it added beauty to the house and to your garden. And at the same time, You in uh, nature. Happy is playing his toy. to put on the top so my soil is not exposed so it's gonna be look better usually I put a uh, sphagnum moss but I don't have any more so let's see what else I can put all right there you go thank you guys and always remember God loves you and I love you too I'll see you on the rebuild let me clean the plants to have a good presentation on you and then uh, keep blogging, keep sharing, keep supporting uh, your friend's uh, blog. If I don't come uh, quick to your channel, I'm busy as well like you. But once I visit your channel, I'm trying my best to cope up with what I miss. Alright, but make sure you support your friends, especially if you're friends not only passing by you need your friends it's not your uh, it's not uh, YouTube is a give and take process I do believe you're famous or not that's the way it is all right God bless see you on the next video bye bye